Christmas, each one of us has received a friend request from God, truly. God has chosen to save us by sending us His Son, Jesus, who is also our friend and also a second person of the Trinity. And so Jesus comes to us and we to Him, and we are now one. We are made friends with one another. Remember John's Gospel. God so loved the world that He sent His only Son. Jesus comes in a spirit of friendship, in a spirit of joy, in a spirit of new hope for the world, because now this Jesus is not just our God, but also our friend. He is sent to us for our benefit, for our joy, so that we might live only for Him and those who are around us. So in this show, where Miles accepts the, the friend invitation, it opens Miles' life to other people and the lives of other people to him. And that is not an accident when we celebrate Christmas. Jesus comes to us as a friend so that we might become involved in his life, to become part of the body of Christ, part of the body of believers, doing good for others and doing right by others. So Christmas, then, is an invitation, a command, really, to reach out to others in friendship and joy, just as Jesus does. And we don't do that, obviously, on just one day a year. Charles Dickens gets that correct in the Christmas Carol, that we keep Christmas all year by our good works for other people. So that is our call on Christmas Day, to accept the friend request and to give a friendly request back to God so that we can be Christ for other people. So Christmas really is God friended me. God has friended all of us. And so we look around our world and we see our situation when we really do need a friend. We look at all the difficulties that are, that are going on in the world now, politically, socially, all over the world. And so we need that friend Jesus who comes into the world to give us new life and new hope. And also there are people in our time who doubt that God could ever friend us or that we could friend back to God. Is God really my friend? Maybe I should reach out and love to others more often. Maybe I should be more charitable. Maybe I should be more joyful and more patient with those who are around me. And so God truly is our friend, so much so that he sends us his son to be born into the world, to give us new life and hope. And so now is the time, now is the time to deepen the friendship with the one who loves us so much that he sent us his only son. So we come in a spirit of rejoicing today. We rejoice in the friendship that God has shown us for today and for always. And we continue to rejoice in it all the year long. And so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and all of your family. And this is indeed a day to rejoice because the Lord has come in a spirit of friendship and joy.